August 2016, public speaking. My name is Audrey Headley, and this is History's Unfulfilled Demand. Throughout history, nurses have been in high demand. In a profession that is prided on being one of the most respected and most rewarding careers, it is easy to see why. Beginning during the Crimean War of October 1853 through February 1856, Florence Nightingale and a group of women changed the world of battle and healthcare forever. Florence suggested that the focus of nursing practice was not on the disease processes, but to know how to care for a person as well as how to help them deal with their symptoms and the changes of their body. Many wonder if the path of nursing is right for them. That is a question that should be answered with the heart. Are you compassionate towards others around you? Do you have a desire to help those who are in need? Do you tend to put the needs of others before your own? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then nursing is the path for you. In the early years, many men and women had specific roles that centered around family, structure, and religion. The women that chose to care for others outside of the home were primarily nuns and widows. Most nursing care was provided in homes until the Roman Empire decided that each church should have a hospital within. At times of great fatality, many religious organizations were on the front lines of comfort for all. At this time, there were no formal means of education or specific title for what these women did. They were merely, merely living to secure the well-being of others. Before the Crimean War, being a nurse was considered medial and frowned upon by the public. Most could not comprehend why a woman would choose a life of a caregiver outside of her own family. Basic nursing education was provided by the church, and the women that attended were bowed to a life of commitment and solidarity. They worked in the hospitals under strict conditions, and if they decided to marry, they would have to leave and abandon their nursing role, for it was the duty of the wife to care for her family only. Nurses did everything from scrubbing the floors and doing laundry to administering injections and performing minor procedures alongside physicians, and were mostly unpaid. It was not until the 19th century when the tr traditional nursing caps were worn after graduation that a career in nursing was taken seriously. This symbolized their education accomplishments and their expertise in their field. Although there were many exceptional nurses throughout history, such as Mary Bickerdyke, Phoebe Levy, Phoebe Levy Pember, and Linda Richards, who were the heart and soul providers of many battles in history, the most well known of all is Florence Nightingale. Florence is considered the mother of modern day nursing for her revolutionary tactics in illustrating sanitary conditions for the ill and wounded while implementing the nursing process into everyday routine. Even in today's world of patient care, her endeavors are taught in schools and applied to practice. Throughout Florence Nightingale's achievements, the role now valued in respect of the nursing field. Nursing was known as an art and science of the mind, body, and soul. It was separate and distinct from any other medical profession and required a specific educational background. Her work spoke for itself when she admitted environmental altercations of cleanliness and sanitary procedures to decrease the fatality of wounded soldiers by almost half. Many women, even the most prestigious backgrounds, were now eager to answer their calling. Nurses in today's society still uphold the same standard of integrity and grace that Florence Nightingale set so many years ago. Nurses today are ranked as the number one most trustworthy and respected careers, according to New York Times statistics of 2013. This is shown on a day-to-day -day basis in the life of a nurse. Assessment, diagnosing, planning, implementing, and evaluating is the nursing process established by Florence Nightingale and used daily in patient care. A nurse begins by a systematic manner of assessing the patients they come in contact with. Based on their assessment and clinical judgment, a nurse then makes a diagnosis of the potential patient needs. After the diagnosis or diagnoses are constrived, the nurse then sets measurable and achievable goals based on the patient's current status, such as ambulating the halls, pain management, or beginning to feed themselves. Then the plan for the day is implemented and evaluation is done on how, the, how well the patient is doing. This process is performed throughout the day, all by taking each opportunity to educate patients and their families so they can further their progress after discharge. Because healthcare and science is always advancing and technology is finding new ways 
to care for the ill and wounded, nursing positions are always needed to be filled. There are so many opportunities for a man or woman interested in pursuing a career in nursing. From hospital care and long-term care facilities to research labs, counselors, the possibilities are endless. At this time, a degree in nursing is the only career with many different avenues. There are diploma programs that would only take about 18 months to complete, associate degree programs that roughly take about two years, or their bachelor degree of science in nursing, and that takes about four years and will someday be the only means of career entry. No matter the avenue you choose, if you feel nursing is the path for you, then you know your heart is already in the right place. If thinking you want to be a part of history's unfulfilled demand for loving, compassion individuals, then nursing is the path for you. There isn't a reason why nurses pride themselves on being the most, of uh, being in the most rewarding and respected career, because there is no other job like it in the entire world. As Florence Nightingale once said, the progress, the progressive world, is necessarily divided into two classes: those who take the best of what there is and enjoy it, and those who wish for something better to create it. Thank you.